Yes, we're back. We've got emergency. The Traders USA season two news coming out at this hour. It's been a a jam packed 24, 48 hours here as we have begun to learn the names of the cast of The Traders season two. And we'll be talking about all of that speculation here tonight on this emergency edition here of Rob, it's a podcast. We are back here with our chief traders correspondent, of course, uh, the man who has just got done covering traders New Zealand, traders Australia, getting ready to talk about traders Canada in just a minute. But tonight, traders USA, it's Puyo Zambakili. Puyo, how are you? I am so good. I am so pumped. I feel like this cast dropping, the rumors, the conversation is going to put a lot more people onto this lovely little show, and I'm so here for it. I'm very excited. Okay. Also very excited to have here with us tonight a woman who has been uh, covering all of the uh, mess that goes on uh, below the decks on our uh, Big Deck Energy podcast from our Bravo podcast feed. It's Sasha Joseph. Sasha, how are you? So excited, who, how much money does this casting like people have? Because call me, this is so good. And I'm just, I can't wait. I'm so excited. They have a lot of money left over from all the shows they didn't make on <laughs> Peacock uh, and Bravo or the NBC Universal over these last couple of months. So it's got to spend that money. I love it. When are they going to call you? I I'll be waiting. I got my phone. I'm ready. To, yes. I'm ready to go. But in the meantime, I'll be podcasting about uh, all this stuff, and we got some exciting stuff to talk about here today. Because uh, the big news, uh, the intrepid at gamer Vev on Twitter, known for releasing the cast, uh, typically of the challenge, uh, many different iterations, has that stuff. Like as soon as they get to the airport. Uh, started announcing the cast of The Traders Season 2. And uh, a lot of news was made in the last two days. A lot of splash, a lot of splash. And honestly, with every new name that was getting added, everyone was losing their collective uh, Mm -hmm. minds over it. Because, you know, the first season, we had a half and half. We had a halfy-halfy. We had half reality TV alumni half civilian Mm -hmm. and this season nbc peacock they said let's go full-blown reality tv contestants for this season okay let's break out the big guns and that's what we're going to talk about here we're going to go through uh, this entire thread that gamer vev has been posting and talk about all of that now of course now puya you have been covering all of this you are getting uh, ready to cover the traders canada how do people keep up with what you're doing in case people want to watch some of these international editions of the traders if you're looking for any of the podcasts to go along with your viewing experience go to rob slash traders that's t-r-a-i-t-o-r-s and you should have access to all the podcasts there uh if you are a patron You have access to the seasons as well. Obviously, right now, if you're new to Traders, Peacock does have seasons one of Australia, um, UK, and US on it for you to check out before this season of US. The other ones, you might have to find a little bit sideways, but if you message me, I can help you out. If you're a patron, you're already set, baby. You're good to go. Yeah, we've got links to all the international reality series, uh, not just the Traders, uh, Survivor, and more when you go to robiswebsite.com slash patron okay so let's get into this okay let's just go i'm gonna bring up the twitter okay Mm -hmm. and so we could follow along and again credit to gamer vev yes who is somebody who has a lot of information and uh knows all this stuff okay so let's go ahead and uh let's see what gamer vev has to say the traders season two cast thread okay Special credits to at reality TV fan. Give them a follow as they have helped with lots of names and spoil the shows. They're killing it. Okay. They gave us the Traders Canada cast, I believe, if I remember correctly. Reality TV fan. So shout out to them as well. Okay. All right. First name that we got here on this list. Janelle Pierzina. 
Big Brother 6, Big Brother 7, Big Brother 14, Big Brother 22, and Sasha, even Amazing Race 31. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. No. Will she be saying bye-bye, bitches, as she's murdering people? Very well could see it. Janelle has been literally the minute season one ended. People started wish listing what they wanted to see. Janelle was on top of a lot of lists for yeah. season two. Well, it was wild that she was not in season one because basically that there was a little show called Snake in the Grass. And on Snake in the Grass, that the Sari mm -hmm. and Stephanie and Rachel all played with Janelle. So it was kind of crazy that she wasn't in season one of The Traders. I'll say this much. Did she have yeah. a thing? Might have oh. been busy. I don't know. Don't want to yeah. speculate. She she's a business, you know. Mm -hmm. She got so much going on. I we don't know. We the queen is here, and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. And I'll say this: one. given what the rest of this cast looks like, I'm happy she's on this one instead. Okay. Yeah. Me all too. right. So Janelle is here, and okay. So let's. I, I I don't know if we want to, if it's more interesting to say this uh, as a tandem. Okay. Uh, should, how, how should we, should we, you want, do you want to talk about how we think Janelle is going to do about this just as she's here? We're so, in uncharted waters here. Yeah. So it's interesting because I think, so the way Gamer Vev went about dropping this cast list is we got a little chunk at a time and then we didn't get some until later. The more initial reaction was, okay, this is great, but also she's going to get targeted immediately. Whether or not she's a traitor, she's in trouble. I think the more and more they started stat padding the cast, the more and more it's a big question mark of what's to happen. Right. Um, she is one of, you know, two Big Brother players that are going to be on At here. this hour, sure. So far. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. I guess let's uh, talk about, do we want to see Janelle as a traitor or as a faithful? Ooh. I it, want her to be a traitor. The problem is I need the whole... No, actually, that's not true. Yeah, I would like her to be traitors because there's a few of these that yeah. I would just... Whatever. No, yeah. I think she's got to be faithful. Why? I don't know. I think that that's when she was at her most iconic of like uh, going after going after the bad guys. I think that, you know, split house. I think don't you want to see her like uh, working with everybody, like going after the killers? I want a role reversal here. Yeah. I want her to be the bad guy. Yep. OK, well, Janelle is here and uh, let's see. I, I Is she a target or not? How about that question? I think there's a fair shot she's going to be a target. I think why? there's gonna... why would people why do people want to come for her? She's why not did... known as like one of like the well, sneakiest Dan players. Might open his mouth. That's well... what I'm afraid of. <laughs> yeah. Is like she might become a target because of the other people talking about her, or do we get like classic Janie and she just gets angry? And starts a fight. Because, listen, we have another blonde on this cast that is known for fights. So, mm -hmm. I, me thinks if there's a fight, she can put her target on her back. But otherwise, I hope that she just becomes everyone's fan. And they're like, oh, I love her. Can't vote her out. Okay. All right. So, we'll see what happens with Janelle. All right. Let's talk about somebody who is currently on CBS reality TV as he has been a part of the Challenge USA. It's Johnny Bananas is here of the Real World Key West, the Challenge House of Villains, Challenge USA. Here he is. It's the it's Johnny Bananas. Okay. Sasha, what's your opinion on Johnny Bananas? Wah, wah, wah. No, I'm just kidding. Like, here's the thing, right? I okay. Let me first start with niceness. So I think that he will bring the drama. He's like establishment guy, right? So he understands, like, hey, I need to bring X, Y, and Z, and I'm gonna bring it. I think that's bananas. And you know, just production likes him. You know, are, is MTV and Traders this like similar? Is no, no oh, they're not. God. Thank yeah. God. So, you know what? Maybe he won't be saved is the point. Cause, listen, because MTV loves him a little too much. He is production pet over on the challenge. So, I'm excited to see how he does here, you know, on his own. Uh, he does have CT with him, which is a big deal. Um, they're very strong competitors. And 
now the bad part. I'm just over bananas. I'm he's the villain ish, but I feel like he tries so hard to be the villain. And I just Rob and Puya, did y'all see him get his ass handed to him by New York? For the House of Villains trailer. For the, I have seen the trailer for that, yes. Yes. More <laughs> of that on the traders, Please, God. Sandra, be like, what the fuck? Okay. I can get loud, too. All That's right. what I want. Traitor or faithful, Johnny Bananas? Ooh. It's too bait if he's traitor. I yeah, think he's a faithful, faithful that gets immediately painted as a traitor when he's not okay. for the drama. All right. And then uh, do we think he has a target on his back? A hundred percent. If they yeah. know their MTV stuff... He's immediately going to be looked at. I mean, is there a show this dude's not on at this point? <laughs> like, he's, he's literally. He's got a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. He's on everything. Okay. All right. After Johnny Bananas, we got this one. I was very excited to see an old friend of mine, Trishel from The Real World Las Vegas, The Challenge, Surreal Life, and more. Here is Trishel. What a treat. Yeah, poker player, you know, living yes. her life. She's so messy, you know, good girl, bad, like turned bad, right? Like that was her whole thing in Vegas. It's just, mm -hmm. I'm excited for her. And back again. Yes. She, you know, allegedly made out with Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. I just, I'm, I just find her to be so messy. I love her. Listen, her fight with Anissa. Mm -hmm. She's, yeah, she's messy. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is one of the people that is in this cast that I have, uh, you know, some uh, familiarity with IRL. And so I am, you know, I think Trishel is super fun. I always love seeing her on stuff. So I was thrilled to see her as part of this cast. Good TV. I'm here mm. for good TV. And I think Trishel will deliver that good TV for as long as she's on the show. I think she's smarter than people give her credit for. And I think that she could be somebody who is very savvy. If she is a traitor, I don't think that people are going to be looking at her in that way, that she could be one of these people. I know she also is, I'm not sure about Survivor, but I believe is a very big, big brother fan. And uh, we'll certainly know who the big brother people are in this season. Certainly we'll know who the challenge people are in this season. Yeah, that's one thing I want to say about this cast. Now, I'm not familiar with 100% of them, but I'm familiar with quite a few of them. And I have to imagine this is the kind of cast that will do their homework, which I'm very, very happy about. Because one of the biggest things with traders is that if you're not really familiar with the format or the way things are going to go, you're going to be in the dark. So I feel like Trisha would have done her homework regardless. Okay. I have All a right. question, Rob, yes. do, or Puya, whichever. But do you think folks, besides, of course, Bananas and CT, will, like, remember her? Or will she be able to go under the radar for a few weeks? Rob? I mean, I don't know about her particular, like, experience right. with that. But I think she's a legend. I don't yeah, think that that's what I'm saying. I just, will, we'll but will they be forget, threatened yeah. by her? I wouldn't think so. I mean, okay, I, but good. I don't know about their, uh, if they, their backstory in terms mm -hmm. of, like, how their paths have crossed in the past. Yeah, that's valid. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. All right. So, uh, excited to see her. I don't think she has a target on her back. Hmm. I think okay. she's a good pick for a trader if you want someone to not yeah. be immediately be a vanished for pick it. For a trader, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about another person here from the challenge universe. Here comes CT, legend of the challenge, real world Paris, uh, as well. Okay. Uh, how about CT? I am excited. He's yeah. a hothead. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he gets mad very quickly. So let's see. Uh, you know, personal life is fascinating. Uh, Boston connection with another guy. So will we have like a thick Boston accent off is my oh. question here. <laughs> is there room for only one person yeah. from Boston in the Trader's Manor? That's the, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm very interested to see how him and Boston Rob interact. But I think, again, CT Challenge legend. I think he's calmed down a lot over the years, which is helpful um, for his kind of social skills. If him and Johnny are together, I think Johnny does the social heavy lifting. Okay. Is he better as a traitor or the faithful? Oh. oh. I think he should be a faithful. I think he's not a hothead anymore. 
Nah, he's cooled off. He's up yeah, the, he's that's like, what I said. It's yeah. like yeah. he's still got that in him somewhere, but for the you know, Never it's been away. it's been quiet for a little bit. <laughs> okay. I mean, but when he gets mad, we've seen it still. Okay. Don't get him mad. <laughs> get him mad. Okay. I'm excited to see CT. Honestly, like of the, the you know, if it was him or bananas, I'm picking him every day. So I'm very oh, happy to see him. Yeah. All right. So then, okay, so it was reported that mm. Beth Stalarchik from the Real World Los Angeles, Many Seasons of the Challenge, Real World Homecoming Los Angeles was going to be there. But, Puya, I believe that then the Gamer Bev then retracted this information, right? Yes, there were two names on here that were removed, um, and Beth was one of them. I'm not familiar with her, but when I was telling Liana about the cast, she lost her mind. When she thought Beth was going to be, I said, oh, my God, she's drama. She's going to be so much fun. So I'm kind of upset that I don't get to see it. I might have to check out some of her other stuff now to get familiar. Okay. All right. So uh, Beth in, Beth out. All right. Let's talk about somebody that Oof. people are very excited about. Here he is from Big Brother 10 and Big Brother 14. It is Dan Giesling. Listen, this man has been trolling Thousands of people every summer about the prospects of him going back. Everyone's always like, is he going to be there? Is he not going to be there? So much so that when this happened, people were like, I don't trust it. It doesn't. Is this a reliable source? I don't think so. Is he ever going to be on? There's no way. He He's streaming right now. He's there. Okay. He's going to be playing a game. It's been a minute. And I know this is one of the names that I think took people out of their seats excited yeah. to see him that the prospect of him doing something once more. Okay, Sasha, how do you feel about Dan coming back? Chef's kiss. Thank God. We he's made it. We've been waiting. I've seen both his seasons live. So it's just thank you for gracing us. I think that's how I feel about this. Yeah. So uh, another person that, you know, I've uh, gotten to know over the years who's going to be here in this cast. And, you know, Dan is going to get in there and he's going to try to play the like, oh, you know, I'm just a dad. I don't know anything. I don't know what's going on. Like, I, uh, I don't now. even watch TV now. I don't yeah. even know what this is. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know anything? I don't know anything. How are you doing? Tell me about your family. Yeah, where did you go to college? Question, 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 question. I feel like, oh, he seems like a nice guy unless they know him. And if they know him, they know, know kill him first. Hey, and that's why I said I'm happy Janelle was safe for this one. Some two house guests that have been on the same season together for, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. my, my first ever season I watched was 14. So I have familiarity there. Yep. And I feel like that the other vets came away with a bad taste in their mouth after BB 14. They did. But also, that was what eleven years ago. Things changed, 11 right? Years, things that these you think these reality stars forget, Puya? Janelle's not. You gonna think forget. Janelle? <laughs> yeah. Forget? But they they're they're in a how they're in a castle with a lot of other people. Maybe bygones do be bygones. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that you know we're gonna see some of these shows stick together, but I don't know about the Dan and Janelle. Of it all, like I'm sure also Janelle got like the, all of the, you know, Janelle is close with Rachel and I mean, she can't talk to Saree, but maybe Stephanie, you know, uh, who went through this experience and sort of <laughs> like got a little bit of like, okay, here's the primer on how to do this. And I feel like that I, I can't see Janelle wanting to work with Dan. Yeah, no, but Janelle and Dan were always good. Like they, their, their beef was, they don't have beef with each other. They're fine. I think they're going to be fine, Rob. I do. I Again, you have no one else to turn yeah. to there. You're both from Big yeah, Brother. Janelle's thing is a little bit like, hey, like, uh, let the, you know, the, uh, what, what was it that Tony said in Winners at War? The lions and the hyenas. I think that mm -hmm. she is like a big person of like, hey, lions need to stick together. Exactly. And it's a pretty big line here. The, the other thing, Rob, is that Dan was part of the first group of people that got announced and immediately people and by people i mean taryn armstrong was on twitter being like there's no world where either he is a traitor or he's out first or there's no world he survives anyway i think now that we've seen more of the cast i think dan there is definitely a path for him to survive there's a path for him to go far my question to you rob is is dan a traitor yes or no i think that i think he, that they shouldn't make him a traitor I, but yeah. I think he, but i think they should also kill him first <laughs> <laughs> because either he's a traitor or you can't you can't believe him anyway so you know either way i think they have to just be smart about it you just kill dan first 
he's one of the ones that's going to be bringing a lot of people to watch the show and he's one of the yep. ones that is a huge candidate to get to get out early yeah Ooh. if you're one of the traders leave him leave him in there because they're going to be thinking like okay you could throw a lot of suspicion onto him but if you're one of the faithful just kill dan either he's a traitor or you just take take him off the board all right yeah. we don't have to worry about this I, i'm seeing quite a few people in the chat say what i'm feeling is i think he starts off faithful if he somehow survives to deeper deeper waters i could see him getting recruited to become a trader later down the line i think mm -hmm. but also it's dan so be prepared to get your back stabbed if you do bring him in as a trader That's he will I'm be the last saying. one standing yeah yeah okay. you're foolish if you bring him in Fool yeah he's a good okay. shield he's a very yeah. good shield yeah for the traders okay mm -hmm. all right then all right so let's talk a little bit about lindsey hubbard Lindsay's also. Lindsay's the second yeah. one that's gone. Okay. She was contacted was she? for the season. Who was she, Sasha? She's on Summer House, uh, right? Or, yeah. Summer so. House and Winter and House. And Winter House. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I just know her. <laughs> for all She's seasons. going through a lot. She, like, just had a pretty messy breakup, right? Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So okay. let her be. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lindsay, out. All right. Uh, what about this? Uh, Mercedes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this picture is killing me <laughs> yeah what is that what is that she's holding is what some, do you want to take some, a guess uh, yeah what do you think it is rob i know what it is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right that's slack. like a e earwax remover right yeah yeah and actually nose hair tumor <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I just, why did they pick this picture of mj i will fight you guys <laughs> He, mm -hmm. MJ is perfection. Uh, Puya could talk more about MJ too, but oh my god, it's just from Shaz of Sunset. Fun fact: used Reza's now friend, but used to be Reza's ride or die. Mm -hmm. So it makes a lot of sense that she's here and that she's the next like Shaw to come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So I've. I'm not very familiar with the Bravo universe, which is why I'm very grateful that Sasha's joined us today to fill all the gaps. But the one show I knew was Shah's The Sunset. I am Iranian. I am Persian. The, I saw a cast of Persians. I was like, I'm watching this, which is why I was gutted to see Reza go out first, um, Traders US season one, because I think he brings a lot to the table. MJ's going to be drama and messy, and it's going to be great. I'm very excited to see her again. With with a, with a show like this where it's reality TV but not competitive reality TV, I'm always so curious to see how they are in that environment and the messiness that comes with it. And they've cast some messy people otherwise that are in the competitive sphere. So I'm very excited for this. Okay. Is she a target? For or who? is she too much of an unknown? I, I that's That's my question. I think she could be victim to the let's just shoot someone who no one will – like not care is a poor choice of right. words, but – I no can't. one who's going to be like suspicious this or otherwise. This is the otherwise. equivalent of having the amazing race people on the challenge where it's Low like, key, oh, yes. well, like, well, let's just throw them in. <laughs> <Yes>. Nobody's <laughs> so going to be mad. Yeah. Yeah. But MJ is great TV. Like, if y'all thought Reza was great TV, like, MJ is good TV. And she very much is like girl boss gaslight. Like, that's MJ. <laughs> so. <laughs> If MJ goes early, I'm going to be gutted. Just, mm -hmm. I, I have one person that I'm willing to sacrifice, and it's not MJ. Okay. <laughs> All right. Traitor or faithful? Faithful. Faithful. They're not faithful. If, they're, if they follow the three traitor slots, I feel like they're not going to use one on MJ. No. no. Probably yeah. not. Okay. All right. Then, let's uh, keep going. Okay. Tell me about... Tamara Judge, Real Housewives of Orange County, and the Real Housewives Ultimate Girl Trip. The judge is here, baby. Listen, all right. This is one of the like OG housewives. Okay, she's she was on a uh, Real Housewives of Orange County since season starting season three. Okay, like Tamara is mess. Have y'all seen um that meme, right? Where the two people are like jumping backward and they're like, I thought this was a classy party. Well, they're reacting to Tamara's fight. Oh, uh, yes. So it's, again, she is so messy. She's willing to call anyone and everyone out. Um, Just on this past um season, she uh, threatened to jump overboard on a boat because mm -hmm. she was in a fight so it's just we, she's gonna like take it up a notch you know when when they're in a fight she's just gonna go 
go there. Yeah. And uh, she she does have a podcast with Teddy Mellencamp. Oh, the TNT oh. podcast. Yes. Okay. yes, this is the other T. Yeah. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's why I was like struggling because usually she's very messy. But, you know, just seeing how Teddy was in uh, Celebrity Big Brother, I'm like, I hope you don't tone it down because that's not why you're cast. Okay. Traitor or faithful? Faithful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, she's here to be the Kate or the Brandy. Yeah. she. Well, Brandy is fight. on yeah. her season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, Reza and now Brandy, right? I feel like it's back to yeah. back with these two. So this might be me trying to read the meta. But last mm -hmm. season, we had a traitor from Survivor, a traitor from Big Brother, and a traitor from the Civilians. This season, I could see them do, and this is like if they're going for like the really strategic picks, they go Big Brother, Survivor, and The Challenge is kind of where I'm leaning, probably for one of each of the traitor um, trident prong things if mm -hmm. we're doing that. So that's where I'm guessing, but obviously it could go anywhere. Okay. All right. Then let's meet our next person. Okay. We have Karsten <laughs> Berge Ber Bergerson from Love Island USA 5. Okay, Love Island on Peacock. What has he got? Some pancakes and sausage? Yes. Rob, this was like his thing on Love Island. He'd be like, I'll make you some pancakes when we say like virgins of virgins. Um, okay. Yeah. Th this the man uh, mm -hmm. he was just on this right just this season um i personally this is my sacrifice for <laughs> first boot don't he's, let ty hear you yes. say that I, I will fight ty for this one <laughs> um but he's 23 rob a manager from dairy queen that's his thing okay um and the uh, the rest of the cast is skewing older so right me thinks Bergie yeah. can just go and and i understand why people he's like, like cory here in this cast for age. Corey who? <laughs> well, Wurtenberger. Wurtenberger? Yeah. Oh. Is, is he a, is he a traitor super Lord. fan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one. You know how earlier I said they've done their homework? Ain't no way Bergie's done homework. But no way. <laughs> Bergie's just gonna, with vibes. Yes, he's just gonna ask all the women, "How do I play? What do you think is the best way to do this?" Because that's I what think, he did on Love Island. I think he ends up kind of in the Ryan Lochte spot of the Ooh. game is happening around him, yes. and he's just there. Is he done? So, I, mean, I wouldn't not, say not that. IQ wise, it's just sometimes he'd be lost in the sauce. That's all. okay. Yeah, a little, a little spacey. Yeah. All right. All right. There's there's Bergie. Okay. Uh, we don't know her. Okay. All right. It'd be uh, funny if they make him the traitor. Oh it would God. be hilarious. I mean, out that of nowhere. was season one, right? That was like, okay, let's take Cody. Let's take Suri and then put them with, uh, you know, Christian, who's just going to screw them up. Well, Christian at the had us in the first half, right? It looked like he could, he was excited to get like, you know, go in and like get in deep with all this and had moments. Bergy would be in, because again, who's guessing Bergy's a traitor? Truly. I don't know. Okay. Ooh. All right. Yeah, he's there. All right, Sasha, tell us about Larsa Pippen. Okay. <laughs> you you heard the last name, Rob. Yes. Yeah, do you, you must know her, right? I'm assuming. But for folks that don't know, this is Scotty Pippen's ex-wife, not his daughter. Um, and she's on the Real Housewives of Miami, but I know her. She's been on the Kardashians. And fun fact, everyone, she is dating Marcus Jordan. Anyone want to know who that is? Well, Scotty Pippen's biggest, you know, maybe uh, enemy, low key, <laughs> Michael Jordan's son. So she is, I feel, the ultimate troll for doing this. Um, she okay. she's like, all right, like I watched a few episodes of Miami. Um, I just think her whole situation is messier than well. She let's is. then bring in the other shoe that breaking news just yes. th just tonight. Okay, so this is according to People Magazine. Uh, Larsa Pippen will be joined by Marcus Jordan mm -hmm. on the Traders season two cast. Yep, Marcus Jordan is the latest addition to this list from Gamer Fev, and. I will say this up front. This is not the first time we have had a couple on the Traders. Traders UK has done this. However, 
that couple was there that was a full civilian season they didn't know people the, people will know this this will be a known entity in this house <laughs> yes. in this castle mm-hmm. so Did, okay will he lie would they both have to lie about their last name no Tamara will know i don't i i don't comprehend this casting i think this is so funny to me because again they're just it's like meme like it just it's giving meme casting Look, I think that from everything with Scandaval, I think that you want to have like mess on your show. That's what gets ratings. Oh, a hundred percent. Like all my notes for her before Marcus Jordan was announced was about him. And I felt so bad. I was like, no, that's not fair to Larsa. Like I should have some, you know, like Kardashians mess, whatever. But like in reality, th- th- that couple casting is the meme. So I just think mm-hmm. this is too funny. Okay. All right. So then this was some of the big news uh, that dropped today in our neck of the woods, because yesterday we heard about the big brothers and we heard about the challenge people, but we said, boy, probably got to have some survivors, right? We had Sari, <laughs> we had Stephanie, we got to have some survivors, right? And so then the survivors showed up here today and we came in with, the big guns because we said okay how about boston rob mariano of survivor marquesas all stars heroes versus villains redemption island of the idols winners at war amazing race seven and all stars celebrity home renovation (laughs) (laughs) you have a podcast don't forget rob has a podcast yes you gotta believe me i'm not a traitor (laughs) <laughs> never be a traitor i'm loyal You're not even i don't lie CT together. yeah thank you uh, around I the world wait. in 80 ways oh yes oh my god wow wow and and this is where you start realizing oh they went the pockets were running a little deep this season rob because mm-hmm. they really went for like poster poster people from the shows they didn't go obscure uh no offense to Sebastian from Survivor Ghost Island, but they got Sebastian from Survivor you, Ghost you Island. Know, I, was, I was shading that they got Seabass from Survivor Ghost Island, but I thought he was actually very fun on the channel. <laughs> As someone who's been watching like four episodes yeah. of Traders every week, I have not started the Challenge USA yeah, okay. yet. Um, oh, spoiler! So I wouldn't know if he's been worth <laughs> on the show. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's there. Okay, so this, I mean, this will be fun. So good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So Rob is here. Does Rob know Dan Giesling? I don't know. Does Rob know Wait, Janelle? Really? I don't know. I, I don't. Boston Rob has not watched an episode of Big Brother in his life. Oh, Ever? that's you don't think? wild to not know Dan. Oh, I love. Oh, then this makes it even better for me. I. Look, maybe he's seen an episode and maybe he's like run into people at the yeah, thing. That's all I mean. But Dan doesn't yeah. go to the things, oh, you know. You um, right. maybe he's run into Janelle somewhere along the way. Maybe their paths crossed. But you know, Rob is not somebody who watches the shows. Okay. Oh, this makes it way more interesting to me. More then. intrigued. I yeah. love this. Then. Yeah, 100 yeah. percent Dan knows who Boston Rob is, though. That, Dan, that I feel Dan like will know easy. will know who Boston Rob is for sure. Yeah, Dan easily. has Dan has watched Survivor. Dan has rewatched yeah. Survivor seasons. Dan's watched Survivor seasons with his Twitch channel. And so, but not the other way around. Boston Rob uh is not a, a big brother watcher, and I, I doubt he's a challenge watcher either. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't I don't think he watches a lot of TV. He only watches sports. He plays Aww. poker. He he plays poker and he's he plays hockey and uh, you know he's uh, you know he's got four kids. Um I don't think he's watching Big Brother. Unless Amber is secretly a Big Brother fan, but I don't think so. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. Boston Rob is here. Yep. And then uh once upon a time, these two sat on the island of the idols together. Sandra Diaz Twine. Of Survivor Pearl Island, Survivor Heroes vs. Villains, Survivor Game Changers, Islands of the Idols, Winners at War, and Australian Survivor, Blood vs. Water, Sandra Diaz Twine is here. I could cry. This is fun. This is fun. Mm -hmm. Sandra will get loud at that table 
<laughs> they was, if anybody, <laughs> God forbid, you accuse Sandra of being a traitor, and she's not, or she is. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's over for you. I, these housewives, some of them are gonna match the energy. Yeah, love so it. So let's see. But oh my god, I I will die for Sandra. Do I need to be the first vote out so she can live? I will do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What what you need, girl? I'm now, here. okay. Sandra, I do think, uh, will have watched the Big Brother. I think she watches a lot of the shows. I think she goes to the events. She knows uh, she knows who these people are. I think she definitely knows Janelle. I wouldn't be surprised if she has seen some of the challenge as well. Now, don't forget, Survivor Island of the Idols left off with there being some bad blood between Little Rob beef. and Sandra also. I'm not sure if that is necessarily water under the bridge. Like I, I feel like I had heard that there was some healing there between Rob and Sandra, but you know, that these, you know, let me just say the people might, you know, forgive, but they don't, not going to forget this stuff. That's true. Again, the other part is coming into a house and you don't know the other, like you, you don't really know the other 20 and you have the badge of being from Survivor on you. You might want to be looking left and right saying, we're the only three from this show. Let's work together. Rob, not only are the three they picked, like again, we're talking on the poster, on the billboard of Survivor, but they also picked three that, that, there is some tension amongst them, which makes it even, even spicier. So yes. good. Okay. Sasha, should Sandra be a traitor or faithful? I pray she's a traitor because I think she would execute it really well, right? Like she is going to be very good at the anyone. I feel like the anyone but me strategy works so good when she's a traitor because she can be like this person accusing dead mm -hmm. off with their head, right? Like that's what I see. And folks in the chat are saying like Sandra Bergy Alliance. Listen, I actually love that, even though I'm I be trolling Bergy. But I think that, yeah, if she gets these like random right folks that are kind of following her and she's the traitor, Please, God, make it happen. So I, this is like my fan fiction that she will be the trainer. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then the third name, this was the one that was floating around. Okay. Uh, last night, we started to hear some buzz that the winner of Survivor Micronesia from Survivor Cook Islands, from Survivor Heroes versus Villains, Survivor Winners at War. Another person uh, that I know pretty well here is in this cast. It's Parvati Shallow is here. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. This is where things get interesting. Okay. Now, uh, Parvati and Rob didn't always get along. They started to get along very well in... He, in Winners, Winners at, at War. War. Coming out of that, I believe that they have uh, stayed friends uh, throughout this. I feel like Parvati, Rob, Ethan, Tyson, uh, you know, they spend a lot of time, uh, you know, together when they can. And they really came away from that experience, like, very close. But Parvati's one-time close friend, Sandra, <laughs> that who can forget? <laughs> it was not long ago. When Twitter exploded, when Parvati and Sandra got into it, where that there was a question in a Facebook group where somebody was asking, hey, you know, uh, why, why is, uh, I don't even remember how they got into talking about that of, uh, <laughs> why is, is uh, some Facebook group was just talking about Parvati versus Sandra. Sandra got in a Facebook group and said, good morning. I see I'm still the topic of conversation on this beautiful Monday morning. I got this queen sweater from my Pearl Island's bestie, Krista. Anyway, for those who constantly defend me and show love, I appreciate you. And for those poverty lovers out there, go spend two hours with her on Survivor and see how much you like her then. She's not that nice. I'm in this Facebook group and saw this all live. <laughs> it yes. was glorious. Like, why are moms fighting? Stop yes. it. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's so and good. and just to be for equal equal uh time for both, 
that Parvati responded on Instagram, call me anything, but please don't call me nice. Nice girls don't win Survivor or build lives that they love. Sandra, you can keep my name in your mouth to st stay relevant. I ain't mad at you. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> now they're going to be in the same castle. Rob, <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob. Should they both be traitors? <laughs> I oh want, my God. I want the unveiling of the robe when they first meet at Traitor's Tower unveil and they see each other i would be so here for it wow. no <laughs> please <Wow. laughs> we're not ready <laughs> listen the, the castle would explode yes christian because here's the thing they might go after each other whether or not they're both traitors so might as well put them on the same team for a little bit mm -hmm. i mean i just hope these women are not pitted against each other and i pray that they you know Listen, the winners got to come together and understand we have won some money. We got to get it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please. So this is the diversion that I feel like somebody like a Dan, I think this really helped him where right. like as of yesterday, it's like, all right, kill Dan first. That's the biggest problem. But you've got like this uh, three way dance between Sandra, Parvati, Rob and I wonder, is Sandra going to recruit other people to help her get other the survivor <laughs> people out of the game? So this is going to get wild. And we'll have a front row seat to mm -hmm. the action. I'm so pumped. And I'll tell yeah. you so this, excited. Sandra, so of, of those three, Sandra is the networker. Sandra is the one that knows everybody. Sandra has friends all over the place. She stops down. She's not too big to talk to anybody. Not to say other people are, but Sandra is as friends everywhere across all the different shows. And Sandra will like uh, keep up these relationships and not ever separate herself from any of these people. I think that's going to serve her really well. Yeah, those like uh, breakfast times and all those. I think I can see uh, Sandra just being like, I'm one of you. Like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. I don't like those people. They're a okay. mess. All right. Oh, here we are. Here we go. All right, Sasha, <laughs> we're back in your world. Tell me about Jack Stirrup. <laughs> I don't know. What, Who the hell what is a this name, guy? too. Why is Jack here? First of, all, first of all, let's talk about the next person. No, I'm just kidding. But um, Jack, yes, was on Below Deck Med. Um, he is 32. So, again, a, a little bit. Him and Marcus, I think, are similar mm -hmm. in age. That's nice. And his I again, folks can be mad at me if I say this, but I feel like one of his biggest storylines was that he's dating Asia from Below Deck, which is who oh. is much more likable, right? Like she's on Below Deck Med. Um, she's now on Below Deck Down Under. So he like did a cute little like, will you be my girlfriend thing? And they had a little, they had like a whole boatman's. Then Jack went back to London and didn't tell Asia that they that he got back with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the last we know of Jack. Or that's us. My brain cares to remember of this man because I'm Team Asia always. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just sad because why is Chef Ben not here? Kyle Fraser, like, there's so many men that could be on. And then you know what? Let's save Bergie and Jack, please first out. <laughs> okay, please. All right. Um, then all right. Sasha, you want to talk about, uh, is it Sherry Whitfield? Sherry. 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 Oh, oh th this is the reason I'm here. I want to make <laughs> it very clear. Okay. Who gonna check me? Boo. All right. Because she's a real housewife of Atlanta. Yep. Honestly, she is perfection. Meme quality. Everything she gives is ridiculous. Um, my problem is, will she know what weather it is? You know, will it be spring, summer? Mm -hmm. You know, because Rob, it took her 14 years for her clothing line to launch. Yeah. 14 years. Okay, gotta get it Call right. Yes. Called She by Sheree. Turns out many of the pieces were on She In. So people were like, She by she in instead of Sheree. Um, my girl is pretty good um at not paying people, allegedly, allegedly. Mm. So like, you know, she might be robbing people of money. That's okay. that's what I'm gonna say. Hey, that's the, part of the show, right, Puya? That's exactly. She'll fit right in.
Yeah. I'm telling you, she's so funny. But the problem is if there's a man that she finds attractive, uh -oh. uh, me thinks Sheree sometimes gets caught up with these men. Okay, she had Prison Bay this last season. And, oh, no, two seasons ago. <laughs> like, why is she with a man that's in jail? Hmm. You feel me? Like, yeah. Sheree. Please. Heart so wants that's, what the heart wants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, and that's Sheree's problem. It's just... Yeah, someone said OG bone collector. You right, what? Girl? Oh, what does that mean? Uh, Rob, she just knows where all the bones are buried. Yeah, Rob, come on. Yeah. Okay. So listen, the point <laughs> is, I love Sheree, and I cannot wait to see like which Sheree we're gonna get. I said, um, I'm gonna send you Rob after uh, her. Who gonna check me, boo? Video because yeah. he's fighting a man. <laughs> Like it, not physically, but like the poise that she holds when this yeah. man is coming at her, perfection. Mm -hmm. Rob, Sasha sent me the clip um in the middle of the Big Brother commercials. I watched it, and I was like, if I see this at the round table in Traders, it's gonna be legendary. And then it auto played to the next thing, which is a six minute video that is Sheree drags everyone part oh, one, yeah! which I have queued up to watch after this. I'm okay. I'm very excited. I'll send it to you, Rob. But yeah, very good. Okay. <laughs> All right, then uh, let's welcome in, here we go, Claudia Jordan from Celebrity Apprentice 2 and 6, uh, a two-time uh, Celebrity Apprentice, uh, then Real Housewives of Atlanta and VH1's Couples Retreat. Yeah, uh, Claudia's fascinating because I think she's been on TV shows with Nini, so she's been fighting Nini, who is like the OG of the OG housewives <laughs> for me. Um, and she's fought Omarosa. Mm. So the thing is, I feel like we're... Omarosa would have been good here. Hey, listen, and Tiffany, where is New York? When? Hey, we mm -hmm. need to save some names for season three, y'all. Okay, fine, yeah. fine. fine. Yes. But some yeah, of them are, we're busy doing House of Villains. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and here, here's my like a conspiracy theory because y'all know I love it. I love them. So I feel that Claudia is she trying or is Peacock trying to get her, you know, on Real Housewives, like give her a peach, basically, like make her a regular, mm -hmm. and that's why they're trying her out here because she was on only for one season. That's it. And she like fought everyone and read the sh like mess out of all of them. So yeah. I, okay. I think again, great TV. All right. So Claudia Jordan is here. And then okay. Here's another uh, Jordan. Uh, no, no, yeah, another Jordan. No <laughs> Jordan, Jordan is here. Discuss. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and is that all the names we know at this hour? So that's all the names we know at this hour. Now, minutes before we hopped on this podcast, okay. we did get a tweet. A uh, gamer vef bomb, as one would call it. If you're a basketball fan, you mm -hmm. get the Woj bomb reference. Gamer bomb. Yeah, gamer bomb was dropped. Another update to the cast in the AM with the I'm covering my mouth emoji to say I'm not saying anything till the AM. Now I've been keeping an eye on gamer vev's uh, Twitter account. Yeah. Um, as we've been going on on this pod. Uh, Gamer Vav has quote tweeted someone saying these people are clearly unfamiliar with you. Nothing is ever for sure. Things change last minute. It's reality TV, not something serious. So I think that someone potentially may not be on this cast or we're going to get someone added in. Now, a couple of other quote tweets that have come here. Someone said if Parv was removed, sad Matthew uh, McConaughey crying uh, gif. Gamer Vav said she's there. Parv fans, she's there. Um, someone said if you say Dan Giesling isn't on. Gamer Vev said, he's on. So he's on. Everyone else? No confirmations yet. Oh, okay. um, oh, then someone said, praying we still got Sandra, Parv, Janelle, and Dan. Gamer Vev says, we do. So you okay. can start with Sandra is there working. All right. Do we want to just a uh, real quick fantasy draft of uh, who <laughs> could be? Realistically. I think. I think Bergy is uh, maybe the, the one. I think Bergy may be the one. Everyone else, I think, is getting not everyone. So you're taking them? somebody out, but I, I want to put somebody else in. Oh, you! Oh, I love this better. I prefer to yeah. do this. And stick to the <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, first. okay, Puya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Puya. How many people were in the original USA traders? I will check that right for you because I've got the wiki right open mm -hmm. right here. Um, oh God. Okay, I had closed the tab, Rob. So Christian <laughs> says it was twenty. Twenty. Okay, then I trust Christian if Christian yeah. says 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 20. How many do we have now? Were we keeping up with the numbers here? 
Okay. So I don't think far. it was quite. I don't think it was quite twenty. I don't think it was uh, twenty. Yeah. Yeah. This is like. I uh, think it's like fifteen. Sam, you, you don't have this. Yeah. I think okay. 15-ish. All right. Almost. So maybe we could potentially, we've got some wiggle room for maybe three or four more names. I think so. I think it's entirely possible. Okay. All right. So who might some of those folks be? Okay. So right out the gate, I want to say. Nine women, seven men so far, uh, Josh says. We have three survivors. Yeah. We have two women, one man. I think there's got to be another male survivor in there. You think so? I mean, we only had two survivors last time, right? Yeah, but also the the civilian stuff this year. Had, I'm, yeah. I'm a sucker for symmetry, so I'm like, in my head, I'm like, there has to be one more. If there's if there's room on the ship, Rob. If there's Where's room on the Derek plane, X? Do we have a, we checked on him lately. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I I he believe he's been busy. Yeah, I believe okay. he's been busy. All right, well, let's uh, the ch- take uh, from the chat also. Okay, so. Uh, Muse 027 says Malcolm was floated too as a possibility. I think I think that uh, three names to keep an eye on: Malcolm, Earl, yep. and Yule. Uh, those yep. are all people that participated in Snake in the Grass, which yes. was uh, also from Peacock. All four of the women that were from the women's reality Snake in the Grass have all now gone to Scotland, and so we have not seen any men from that. There was also a guy from Naked and Afraid. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, somebody oh, makes right. the leap from the Naked and afraid verse. although a lot of them were uh, caught up in the Fight to Survive reality show that was out there. So I think that that's a, a possibility. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. I could see that. I could definitely okay. see that. The chat said no, Danielle Reyes. Technically, I guess Danielle tweeted something that she might be. Guess I might be too old. Which, uh, which come not on, true. Never, <laughs> the never. whole cat, also like the whole cast, is like in their forties or older. Uh, mm-hmm. Not whole, except like maybe three people currently. <laughs> so, <laughs> and Marcus Jordan and yeah. I think that's a good shot. I think Snake mm-hmm. in the Grass. It's kind of like with Mass Singer. We have a running joke of, oh. The, if they end up, if our guess is on Dancing with the Stars, they're definitely on behind the mask. So I feel like moving forward, that snake in the grass, we can keep yeah. an eye on that. We haven't crossed over into uh, Bachelor Nation yet, Sasha. Do you think, is that oh, a possibility? That right. We haven't brought in anybody from that franchise. It feels weird like there's no symmetry there. Yeah, not we must. Sim- not symmetry, but uh, that, that, no, that, I, that line has not symmetry. been broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because we had uh, Ari from The Bachelorette last year. So it would lend to think that we would get one from something in The Bachelorverse uh, coming up for here. So the mm-hmm. spot open could be there for them as well. Yeah. Also, uh, we have not seen anybody from The Amazing Race brought into this. When? Mm-hmm. Who do you want, Sasha? You say when. Who? Who's on your list? Who's number one? That's so No, I can't pick just one Okay, pick a pair. Okay, you know what? I would love the Afghanimals to come on. Really? Leo, yeah. Leo already did the challenge. You want yeah. Jamal this time? Yeah. I'll Jamal, take Jamal this time. Yeah, Jamal, I'll listen, take Jamal this time. Jamal is the better option. Mm-hmm. Not, not, That's what no, I think. no shade to Leo. I love them both. But I just feel like we're missing some like chaos from the men. Oh, I feel yeah. like I don't appreciate that women have all the craziness right now. We, we need to balance. Rob, mm-hmm. uh, alone in the chat does remind me of something I did say. Derek Lavasser was hit up about this and said no. Okay. Well, Cody just no. went through it. Did not have the best experience on the show. I mean, I don't know if he, maybe he had fun, uh, but it didn't go great for him. So I can understand why maybe he did not want to do it. Uh, but, you know, look, we had mm-hmm. Cody. Where's Paulie Calafiore? Oh, Sasha, you he- want mess from the men? No. Not Mojo Dojo. Casa he would, he would like the whole <laughs> castle vibe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, and I think he would take it so serious that it would be hilarious Perfect. to watch. Yeah. So I'm not, I wouldn't be mad again if he shows up. I just, yeah, I think y'all y'all haven't met him, but like Chef Ben from Below Deck really is the best option. Uh, again, Below Deck representation, mm-hmm. horrid. And yeah. no, again, no shade to Jack. It's just, you know, yeah. okay. Chef Ben is like messy, but like, Kate type of messy, right? Where right. he's just like, but I also don't care. It's just I hate you guys. All right, can I go uh, off the board? Sure. Where's Cor- get Gordon Ramsay on here? Gordon oh, Ramsay, he's wow, too famous. Come yeah. 
How about where's Marshawn Lynch? I just Whoa. came back from Mars. <laughs> He'd be great. Oh my god, my husband would be seated. Yeah, Marshawn. Danny in the chat says, "I'd love to see some claim to fame representation." Oh, that'd be sure. great. Yeah. I'm waiting for one of them to pop up on another show. Uh, okay. Now, this is a show that swept the world for like, a, well, felt like a year. Yeah. Quite frankly, where's Vander? No one from the Vanderpump no, universe. Uh, yeah, we, they're all yeah. on going to Mars, and then uh, I think we're gonna have also in the world's toughest test. Also, special forces. Yeah, Sandoval is gonna be there, right? Uh, yes, he is. Okay. And, yeah. Can we get a drag queen on here? Uh, right. Because uh, yeah. Mike Bloom tweeted this today, but where? Where are they? Bring where, someone. Where are they? Where are they? Okay. Bring the queens on. Yeah. yeah. And the chat okay. is saying Hold Sheena on. was Hold on. Uh, we have, oh, that, as we, we're live right now. And of course, uh, oh, no. news news is happening. And so. Gamer bomb. Yes. Oh, we have a ga oh, gamer oh, bomb. Oh. Hey, I don't know. Gamer bomb is happening. Okay, hold on. Okay. Breaking news are happening now. All right. It's reported at this hour. We have some people that we've talked about already tonight. Out. <laughs> that are gone. No. Three gone. One Out. added. One added. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, Gamer Vev is reporting. Okay. Uh, Boston oh, Rob, damn. Claudia Jordan, and Jack Sterb are not... On the trader season two. Well, Jack is great. We that is good for us, everyone. Yes. So, sorry, Jack. Sorry. Yeah, I told you I'm not a trader. Okay. <laughs> what is Boston? There's only room for out? one person from Boston. CT. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that. We yeah. were robbed. We oh no pun intended. Yeah, Wait, we I, were not robbed, yeah. if anything. Some of us <laughs> we were, lost yeah. the rob. Yeah. Send yeah. Rob Sesternino in yes. your cowards. Now okay. all right. Yeah. Claudia, uh -huh. I mean, that's also sad. I think we missed some, like, high-level shade and read. So that's well, so really unfortunate. Claudia is the one you said maybe they're trying her out for an Yeah, audition. Real Housewives. Well, the, the application denied mm -hmm. Sasha. <laughs> so it looks like she did not make it yeah. through the castle doors. Okay. Uh, Andrew, the chat says, uh, Rob had to drop out to do Winter Big Brother and get the Triple Crown. You right. Ooh. You right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good so... See. Wait, why are they saying interesting. refreshed again? Interesting. Ooh, okay. oh, we got a, we got two additions now. Another, oh, we have, okay, we have another another gamer bomb. Okay, okay. So we have to stay on all night. Pretty much. Breaking the live stream news now. Are happening now. All right, so uh, I guess uh, some news at this hour. Okay, so Look at Sasha. All right, here we go. Are they uh, for real? Yes, yes they are. All right, Sasha. here we go, Sasha. Tell us about Federal oh! Parks. <laughs> Real Housewives of Atlanta? <laughs> Real oh Housewives God. Ultimate Girls Trip? No. Married I... to Medicine. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Oh, my God, y'all. This is... Oh, wow. Okay, a Real Housewife. Again, one of the OGs. I want to make it clear. There is some not great things Fader has done to Portia. Uh, no, to Candy. Sorry. I'm not forgetting it. All right. Just, just, I'm a hold it. I'm a dimensional human. All right. Phaedra is so good. What a cast. Okay. Cause listen, she's a lawyer, but I believe she has won zero cases. Mm -hmm. And that was like one of the reads against Phaedra was like, win a case, win a case, win a case. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah she is a uh, used to be candy's um bff they used to be the smalls versus the talls which is cynthia nini and all of them so yeah. um just it is so good um she did allegedly have a baby um out of wedlock um with not her husband anymore but then she goes on the show and lies and says i'm gonna deliver the baby in six weeks uh, six months and every and Sheree and, and Nini, everyone is like, no, you should keep the baby. She's like, no, I'm ready for this baby to come up out of here. So the thing is, she can lie, and it does not matter how absurd it is, she will gaslight mm -hmm. you. Uh, to what's the relationship her? with Sheree? Um, she, well, th no, I think they'll be fine. Like there, there was beef, but I think they know that if it's just them two, they need to okay. get it together. All right. Oh, it's so then good. okay, we have another name to at this hour. Okay, and I said, what about somebody from Bachelor Nation? And okay. they appeared, Rob. All right, here Pilot he is, Pete. Peter Weber, Bachelorette and the Bachelor. 
It, sure. Whoa. He's got the Corey mustache. Yeah. Oh. It's a bit that's big now mm -hmm. <laughs> at the moment. Mm -hmm. Pilot oh, yeah. <laughs> chat is like, I don't know the chat is living for this, right? Listen, Ooh, you, we lost Jack Stirrup. We got Pilot Pete. Mm -hmm. Sounds like yeah. they're on the same level for a lot of people in the chat. So I'll right. take their word for it. Oh, yeah. okay. Fair trade for Jack. Got it. Okay. Thank you, everyone. That is okay. Cool. You can't have all bangers. You got to have no, a couple, couple we bad need ones. Duds. That, yeah. We need duds. They, it's fine. It's hey, yes. maybe they be, they maybe they become good out of nowhere. Who knows? <laughs> no, yeah. Fly up out okay. of here. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a question. Uh, Maku, uh, Makua Makua, uh, can you manifest tough as nails representation? <laughs> sure why not where's okay. roofer lee okay this is one that i really want to know where's dr will they i told you they got money rub they don't got they don't dr. Have that will much money. money nope no Come on this is this is for 10 days he could do it he could but is it enough money i don't think so Come i on. think it's, i think he's moved on he's moved on I mean, okay. he still makes the the Big Brother house appearances because the, the, wasn't that his backyard? Like he's right there. This is a this you got to fly out for this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do now, think that. Okay, so yes. we had, we add, we we lost three. We added two. So uh, I do 16, feel like that these names 13, are going to keep rolling in. Fifteen, yeah, five more spots maybe if we're going so down. We're down to, to just two survivors and two Big Brother. I mean, that's what season one was, but that was in a half celebrity reality cast. Mm hmm. Yeah. Who are the alternates? Right. Who's in sequester right now? <laughs> Who's waiting? Who's waiting in the uh, Scottish airport on a yay or nay on the flight oh back God. home? Yes. Okay. All right. This, well, this is, is crazy. Super hey, exciting. Super exciting night. And I guess uh, we'll see where we go from here. What about Gino and Jasmine, Puya? Listen, Jasmine would serve high drama at the round table, Gino would disintegrate into a billion pieces. <laughs> he could not handle this. Yeah. The man could barely <laughs> handle the flight to Scotland, let yeah. alone that Trader's Castle. Tyler wants to know, where's Marvin? Yeah, he's been on all the other shows. Nobody from the circle? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he in Big Brother Nigeria? So maybe, maybe he's back home. Was it Titan Big Brother? Yeah, he was on another Big Brother season. Yeah. Uh, th th that guy's booked and busy. His life yeah. is fine. I'm where's honestly... Shuby? <laughs> where's Shuby? Yeah. I think my life's fine if they don't break the circle suit. Let the circle you know, stay there. You know what I love from Circle UK, Manrika. Like my girl yeah, has been. We've been waiting for Manrika to make an appearance somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Big Brother UK is around the corner, Sasha. Maybe. Yeah, Manrika. Yeah. And, um, what's the uh, Bangladeshi guy? Not me forgetting. Oh God, he played a uh, he played his uncle. Yeah. Ha hash I... <laughs> Hashu. Hashu. No, no. Something. But anyway, those two, me praying that they show up somewhere. Okay. All right. So there we go. Uh, this is uh, another conspiracy theory. Uh, Sam Coleman says Jasmine's cameo is close. Jasmine who? Could this be the oh, blindside gosh. butter beans that we've been waiting for? <laughs> that Jasmine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We... She was oh, such good TV. Oh, my God. Oh, you that Gino and Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we that's just talked I, about that. Jeremy. I know, I know. That's how I'm laughing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. God. All right. Anything else at this hour? I, I can't wait. Waited breath, waiting to see what Gamer Look, Vev. Drives. Gamer Vev has my life in their hands. As I mean, of right they now. literally could come back and say anybody next, and we're <laughs> like, oh, I guess they they got them. <laughs> What if it's they're just happening. trolling and they're like, actually, none Julie of these Chen Moonves is going to be in the traders. <laughs> <laughs> God, well, I got my name on the chalkboard ready for banishment night one. Oh my mm -hmm. God, yeah. I love it. There's this. no name they could throw out now at this point. All right, all right. Sasha, earlier today, I know that you were live uh, on the Bravo feed and you were talking about Below Deck Down Under. Yes, we talked, Chappelle and I talked the finale. And listen, y'all, we made good on our promise. We said if we get to 100 reviews, it were, Chappelle's gonna show up in a costume and he was in an toga man's was oiled up so the thing is if we get to 150 reviews Rob maybe will let us do below deck med 
next mm-hmm. it comes out next week. So help us out. Hey, <laughs> Leave us a five star look, review, please. That you want you want it below deck, Madge? Uh, you put up or shut up, okay, people? <laughs> help us out, everyone. Rob is a website.com slash bravo feed. Thank you, Rob. Um, yes. and of course, I'm also talking mess magnets. Rob, we're covering the Jill Duggar book this okay. time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is like a book club that, that uh, you and Kirsten both read a book <laughs> for a podcast. I've never once read a book for a podcast. We we did spare too uh, the mm-hmm. Harry Prince Harry one. Yeah, we you know we try with. Yes. Uh, we have our mess mag mess club. Did they cover any suits in the Prince Harry book? <laughs> Were there uh, not, suit spoilers? No. no, I mean they did actually talk about yeah, like how they were really enjoying her on the show mm-hmm. until you know Will. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and the chat don't tell me it was Joao. Uh, please don't do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Sasha, great job here tonight, uh, talking Thank this you. through with us. Okay. All right. All right, hold on. Oh, right. are you ready for this? Sam says that there is another game. Now you tweet. lie. Okay. Breaking news are happening now. All right, this is a guessing game. Okay, we have this is like claim to fame now. Okay, we oh, have God, emoji, emoji that correspond to the different celebrities. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, GamerVev says Peacock is revealing the cast very soon. Okay, let's let's uh, zoom, see if we can zoom in here on these, some of these emoji. Okay, we've got a boxing glove. Okay. A dancing man. Mm-hmm. Cat with heart it, eyes. Ignore the cat ignore, emoji. Ignore. They said ignore the cat emoji. Ignore the cat. Who said that? Uh, GamerVev in the tweet right underneath it. Okay, why? then a, ye- a yellow heart <laughs> okay Lipstick. yellow heart could be the love island heart because the logo is yes. a yellow heart oh but okay. he's gone someone else comes in <laughs> okay uh it could be drag okay. race. the uk flag and then a smiley uh, a, a smiley emoji with dollar signs and a dollar tongue okay Megan some people are saying I okay money. okay some people are saying that the boxing glove could be big d son of joe frazier oh my no, big d already tweeted God. how he was not asked correct okay I thought it was for the challenge. Oh, no. That just might be his permanent status. Oh, no, that was Corey. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Um, Sorry. You're right. That is challenge. I think it could be Big D. Honestly, I make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Hmm. Okay. I could see that. Interesting. That'd be interesting. Okay. What about the dancing man? Dancing with the stars. Dancing with the stars. 100% has to be dancing with the stars. Or Derek Huff. Oh, that could be a shout. Yeah. Donny oh. Osman. Oi. <laughs> That's an RHAP cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Derek, Derek Frey has been retweeting stuff, but and tweeted <laughs> something eight hours people. ago. And tweeted something eight hours ago. So Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think it's Derek Frazier. Also, someone said the Paul brothers. No, it's definitely not the Paul brothers. I'm pretty sure one Please. of them has a fight in like three weeks. So yeah, 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 he does. And plus, no, boo. And if Jake um, Paul is on, I am not watching the show. Stop. This. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Please don't do that to me. Yeah. And then the money mouth emoji. Okay. Could that be like, like a Paris Hilton, like a like oh. a you know, like a magnate wow. type, like a socialite type. Hmm. So are those the correct phrases? I don't know. See, yeah. I, no, I pick up what you're putting down. Yeah. It's just, that's wild. But could be also claim to fame. Could be I love money, like you said, Come Sasha. On. Megan from I Love Money, do it. Help us mm-hmm. out. Bring her the OG villain. <laughs> okay. Or the All apprentice. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the we'll apprentice. See. You're right. You know Claudia Jordan, right? So maybe yeah. or deal or no deal. That's another she Claudia Jordan yeah. was a model mm-hmm. on there. Okay. All right. Howie Mandela is coming, everyone. All right. We'll see. Who's it's the very UK exciting. flag? That's just probably some British person. Uh, yeah, uh, or it could be someone from a British edition of a show. Oh, Manrika made it. Got it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the right. one I'm most certain about is the yellow heart probably being Love Island. That's yeah, the one I'm confident I'm on. You. All right. Yeah. So, Puya, you are going to be kicking off coverage of the uh, Traders Canada, which has a couple of exciting names in it. Yes, Traders Canada has quite a few. Big Brother Canada, Canada people. Mm-hmm. Survivor, U- Survivor US, but 
Canadians on Survivor US, mm-hmm. a drag race contestant. Um, we a lot of amazing race Canada, Rick the Temp. We've got a lot of of different people on Fairs Canada as well. That season, however, is a half and half. That is a half civilian, half uh, celebrity season. So it's going to be fun. I'm very excited for that. That obviously premieres October 2nd. And I've brought in Brian Scally to be my co-host for that wow. one. And and uh, we'll be doing watch parties in the Discord if you are a patron. And also, and I would say 80% certain right now, we will be doing a live recaps after the episodes on Monday night. So stay tuned. Okay. All right. And of course, uh, if you want to get access to uh, the international editions of The Traders, you can go ahead and do so in our patron uh, feed. Go to robhasawebsite.com slash patron. We've got links to all the shows, plus much more in our patron podcast feeds where we do a ton of exclusive shows. All right. This was so much fun. This time flew by here. I can't believe uh, that we did back-to-back podcasts and uh, we're having so much fun. Check out our Big Brother recap from earlier tonight. How about that? Okay. Yeah, right there. Right. And then it'll be a busy Thursday as we have a Big Brother double eviction. Thank you to so many of you who stayed up late with us uh, till almost midnight on the East Coast to talk about everything going on in the world of the traders. Until tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.